This is number one or number two on also the funniest movie I've ever seen. Hi, Benjamin here today to give my top 10 Frat Pack movies. The Frat Pack is the group of actors that includes Jack Black, Steve Carell, Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Luke Wilson, and my favorite, Vince Vaughn. I think Paul Rudd's in the Frat Pack and I totally didn't include his name. If you're a fan of comedies from the late 90s to present day, some of your favorite comedies assuredly have some of these actors in them, if not all of the movies. Number 10, Zoolander, a movie parodying male models starring Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson with a cameo from Vince Vaughn. One of the better stupid comedies, if you know what I'm talking about. It's not a movie with a ton of depth or heart or a strong storyline, but it's funny. This. Ouch! Oh, I'm sorry. Did my pen get in the way of your ass? Do me a favor and lose five pounds immediately or get out of my building like now! <laughs> Number nine, Anchorman. Starring Will Ferrell, including performances by Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, and Vince Vaughn. A fun movie about a group of news anchors, which poses the question, can men and women be friends and work together when a female news anchor is introduced into their work environment? It's another movie with not necessarily the most heart or the most depth, but it's a movie that on a scene-by-scene -scene basis is definitely entertaining. Definitely a very funny movie with lots of quotable lines and lots of memorable set pieces. Excuse me. Excuse me, what are you doing? That's how I roll. Number eight, Tropic Thunder. And this is one that most people will probably include a lot higher on their list, but this is a movie I really enjoyed and it's more so I just enjoyed the other movies on the list a bit more. From the frat pack, Ben Stiller and Jack Black. Ben Stiller actually also wrote the movie. And it's about a group of actors that are in a war movie who are thrown into an actual jungle to film the movie because the director of the film wants to liven things up a bit. And of course things go wrong because why would that be a good idea? Very funny movie. Definitely a movie with quite a bit of depth as well. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Number seven, The Royal Tenenbaums. And this is another one that's probably most people would include higher on their list. Great movie by Wes Anderson. Uh, from the frat pack, we have Owen Wilson, Luke Wilson, and Ben Stiller. And actually, this movie was also co-written by Owen Wilson, who knew he was such a great writer as well. It follows Royal Tenenbaum, an estranged father who returns to his children when he learns that he is terminally ill. And we see Royal Tenenbaum try to make up with his family and revitalize his relationships before he passes. This movie's one of the less funny movies on the list. Granted, it does have a lot of laughs, but it's probably got one of the strongest, if not the strongest script on this list and hits home a lot harder than the other films. They're okay, Jazz. It's okay. They're safe. What? They're, they're safe. Yeah, they ran over Buckley. What? Yeah, I, I, th I think we lost Buckley. Number six, Old School, starring Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn, and Luke Wilson. This is one of Todd Phillips' earlier comedies. A lot of people, when they think of this film, they think of like all the big set pieces, and those weren't necessarily my favorite. It's really just like the line by line dialogue in this movie is so strong. I'm just so impressed with Todd Phillips, as both a writer and director. Things that really get me in comedies is the line by line humor, just the one liners, and this one is full of it. It'll be a spaceship. Yay! Let's see what we got. Yay! What do you think, Max? Huh? It's got three speeds. Number five, the internship. And this is one that a lot of people probably would not even include on their list. But I just love Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson so much. This is another one where it's not necessarily the set pieces, but just watching the chemistry between Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson is just hilarious. Maybe it doesn't have the most depth or really make you think too much, but it's just so funny that I couldn't not include it on this list. 
Some of us aren't under 21, so if you want to grab a cold one with me, I'm happy to do that with you. I will not be grabbing a cold one with you. You get high? I don't get high. I'm not judging. Number four, Starsky and Hutch, which was also written and directed by Todd Phillips, and another one that a lot of people probably would not include on their list. We have Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson starring as good cop, bad cop in a movie based on the TV show Starsky and Hutch. And watching these two polar opposites maneuvering through town trying to catch the town's criminal after the local drug dealer goes down is just so funny. Vince Vaughn plays the villain in this movie and Will Ferrell even has a small bit. Not in the frat pack, but Snoop Dogg's also in this movie like he was in old school. And he's a lot of fun. Slow spin. He says to do a slow spin. Tell him to arch his back and then, and then look back at me mean like a, like a dragon. Number three, Dodgeball, starring Vince Vaughn and Ben Stiller. Just such a funny pairing. Like Starsky and Hutch, they're rivals in this movie. Vince Vaughn's gym is at threat of being shut down, and he needs to come up with $50,000, and he does so by assembling a team of mismatches to win a dodgeball tournament. On its surface, might not sound like the highest concept or the best movie, but it's definitely a movie that will keep you engaged from start to finish and definitely delivers on the laughs. I'm really sorry, are you all right? Why would you hit a girl? Why? I am so sorry, are you okay? Number two, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, starring Steve Carell and also featuring Paul Rudd from the Frat Pack. We learn that he has not lost his virginity at the age of 40 while in a poker game with his co-workers trying to fake tell sex stories that are very clearly made up. Just a hilarious movie all around and just wonderful performances by both Paul and Steve. Probably my favorite performance by Steve Carell. That's how you talk? You know what? I don't have to answer to you. You ain't my bitch. No, I saying? So shit, man. Fuck it. You shouldn't even be hanging out with this pervert. I don't hang out with him. And number one, my favorite comedy and favorite film of all time, Wedding Crashers, starring Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. This is number one or number two on also the funniest movie I've ever seen. It's got such strong dramatic beats as well. It's one of the first romantic comedies that I've ever watched where I really felt myself connecting to the characters and really strongly rooting for the relationship. It's just a beautifully directed masterpiece by David Dopkin and just beautifully written as well. All around, I would just call this a perfect movie and one that if you have not seen, you should watch immediately. Hello. You want some? Yes. I knew you'd come. Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! The meatloaf! What is she doing? I never know what she's doing. Those are my top 10 frat pack movies. I'd be curious to hear in the comments below what your top 10 is or just some of your favorite frat pack movies and who your favorite members of the frat pack are.